Hi guys, good evening. Hi, it is. Hi, David. Hi, Hi good evening. How are you guys? Wow, you look so pretty. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. But it's the blouse. It's just the blouse. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I try every night to wear something different not and I'm like what haven't I worn yet thinking right <laughs> every day it's it's hectic so I had this blouse like forever and ever and ever I'm like I'm gonna use it for the class you know it's like, yeah. Yeah, very pretty <laughs> thank, thank you that's a very nice compliment of yours yeah. <laughs> David good evening how are you Hi, teacher. Good evening. Um, very well, and you? Good. I'm here, waiting for everybody to connect. Cause today we're having pronunciation exercises. Are you ready with your water? <laughs> uh, not really, but I'm gonna taste some okay. glass with water. Okay, great. Wilbur, good evening. The dun, dun, dun. I want to learn how to do that. Like, I'm trying to do that same theme on the background. Yeah, it's super you. cool. How are you? I think we're having a bad connectivity today. Yes. Right? I guess a lot of people are connected. I guess it's the what it's the I guess it's just the internet. Hopefully it's gonna be just the internet. Because your image, Wilbur, is frozen. Um, well, yeah, well. I, I notice it's like frozen. Mm -hmm. You know, I already watched this movie. Mm -hmm. uh, miracle in cell number seven. I was gonna recommend that, that today. That's why I don't I don't put the camera. Yes, my eyes are. <laughs> how do you say in charge? Oh, they're they're irritated. <laughs> they're yes. yes, they're you have so irritated. drowsy eyes. We call yes. it drowsy eyes. I cry a lot. <laughs> Oh my god, I saw it. If if you like that type of I loved it. I really liked it. It's a very long movie. Like it's yes. very long. Like yes, it's very long. I thought it was yeah, and maybe because it's uh and it's very it was it was a very good exercise for me because then again I'm practicing my reading comprehension in Spanish mm -hmm. is not that good, so I practice reading. But mm -hmm. I loved I loved the development of the of the yes. it was very impacting i don't know and, and the tanto fast you don't um no sientes el tiempo ah, you uh -huh. can't you, you don't sense you, time at uh -huh. all yeah. you don't sense time at all yes very have, very nice movie really very very nice have you guys seen this movie by the way everybody else david have you seen this movie before it's on netflix and it's called i'm gonna write it here it's called miracle on cell seven have you seen it, guys? Every, anybody else? David or Wilbur, have you seen it? I, I, what? No, I, I, I have never seen that movie. Before. Okay, it's a very long movie. Totally suggest for you to watch it. It's called like this in, in Netflix. If you have the opportunity, go for it it's super it's and i think i don't know if it's based on a true story i wanted to find out i always like yeah, movies that are based on true event the other one i recommend is a dog's purpose i don't know if you have seen it mm, but there's two two of them two of them i only saw i only watch uh, the first uh, one. one the first one yes okay you need to watch the second one i was like it, it was not as but, that emotional as the first one because we already knew what happened in, yeah. the first, in a way. So it was more like the it will continue part of this, the first one. It, it, it's in Netflix? Is it in Netflix yet? No. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah? It's called Adult's Journey, but it's... Ah, uh, okay. 
I can tell. Adult journey, I think it's called. Uh huh. Okay. But it's the second one. So it's the same. Bailey, totally recommended, guys. Very nice movie in case you guys oh. want to. So it's the continue part of the first one. Mm -hmm. You need to watch the first one to understand the second one. Totally yeah. recommend. Yeah. I love the first one. The first one was very, really good. Yeah. Um, any other movie recommendation or series you guys have? So we can go ahead and watch it while we're here at home. David, Wilbur, Fatima, any movie or recommendation you guys have on Netflix? No? Or not really Netflix watchers? I love to watch movies that are inspiring, you know, that they have a very nice yeah, message. They're like based on on true events or you know that type of movies no yes me too okay well let's get started they, uh, a friend of mine a friend of mine recommend me the la cabana oh the cabin yeah but super it's a christian uh -huh. but not this one it's a uh, this one cabin. a cabin in the woods no it's in, in english it's called the cabin it's... In Spanish, it's called La Cabana, but in English, it's called differently because okay. it's actually uh -huh. it's actually Christian. It has a very good, very good, very very good um, uh, uh, okay. Christian okay. movie. You have to look it up as a Christian movie. Very good oh, one. Okay. I already watched it too. If it's what I'm thinking, unless it's a uh, unless it's a scary one. <laughs> Like a suspense movie or it was having a cabana, but but I thought that hut is like mm -hmm. cabana too. Hut, okay. like pizza hut. Yeah, hut. Uh -huh. it's more like a tea yes, tea. like pizza hut. H U T. It's like uh -huh. this. Uh -huh. Like this is a hut, uh -huh. so it's more like a tea ah, okay, or more okay. like in. Uh -huh. So this is a hut. So pizza's hut actually okay. logo at the beginning was like that. Uh huh. Yes. So hut. Mm -hmm. But super, super. Okay. Guille, good evening. Any recommendations for Netflix that you have? That we a must watch movie at, or series on Netflix? No? Nobody has sound today. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know. No one's participating. I'm worried. Guillermo, Eduardo, Hugo, Fatima. Hello, are you guys there? One, two, one, yes, two. But I, I have seen many movies, but I, I think that I'm. A few movies get all my my attention, and I can recommend like, but this is an old movie. No, not so old. But mm -hmm. The Inception is a. a Inception like this? Yes. Okay. I haven't seen this one. I'll watch it. Uh, this <laughs> has um it's not a drama, it's more like science fiction, I mm -hmm. think. Uh, and it's all about dreams. They are architect dreams of dreams. Oh, okay. They they assure that they can um, get inside your right. your mind and in your dreams they can get secrets from you mm, so okay. it, well, it's it's a um, very good movie it's okay. long last two hours i think i i guess and so it's like it's, this other it's one netflix. that we were mentioning okay it's a netflix oh okay we yeah. can I'll, I'll watch it i haven't seen it at all i'll watch it but i have to watch it from the beginning because i usually what happens sometimes is that, yeah, you have to watch movies from the very, very beginning. Like, if not, yeah. if you lose them, especially like if it's... Yeah, you, you, you need to analyze have and understand. To pay attention. Um, pay attention. Mm -hmm. Pay attention in, in all the movies. You, you don't have to lose uh, uh, a little bit because you can lose all. Okay. Yesterday, you're not gonna believe me, guys. I am. I feel. I felt so ashamed, like super ashamed. Yesterday, after the class, 
I noticed that uh, Claro, well, I have Claro and, and cable, right? And I was like going over the channels and I noticed they have, they have uh, open, I don't have like the fancy channels, like, you know, the paid ones, the, like all the, what are they? Fox Family, Fox Classic, Fox, you know, all the series. Uh, of Fox HBO. A, so they have a lot, they are open right now for everybody yeah. because of the situation. I didn't know. And I was <laughs> watching, I, I was passing the channel was now i noticed this the godfather the first godfather never seen it before ah. and i was like oh my god i need to watch this type of movies more <laughs> you know like to get a little bit of more culture because the other day i was in a class talking about gangs of new york we were talking about uh, you know dreams and other things and movies and one of the classes was about that so i was telling them guys there's like some movies are based on true events not necessarily that they're described this way and i was telling them about Gangs of New York. That's actually a, a movie on how the first um, yeah gangs the gangs came mm -hmm. up with mm -hmm. and also with the social movement because there were a social movement at the beginning before becoming gangs and um, and they said yeah you need to watch The Godfather or, or have you seen The Godfather? They said something like that and I was like. <gasps> And I felt so ashamed. I'm like, no. Mm -hmm. And how many Godfathers are there? Like one, two, three, and four, right? There are like four movies of the Godfathers. Yeah. And I haven't seen. And so yesterday I had the opportunity to watch the first one. Uh -huh. It felt so good. It felt so good. Like, oh my God, finally, something very classic. I was able to watch it, something that was very. But anywho. Okay, guys. So today, now that we have more audience. Today, we're going to be starting with something very difficult for some of us, pronunciation, especially with the T and the Ds, and you know, there was a topic, the pronunciation with that released uh, in 5.6, that was released T and D, right? But today, I wanted the examples that were there were like a little bit, uh, very short. So I wanted to extend this with a couple of other exercises that I have. But before we start that, I want to go with something very, simple and easy, okay? So remember, and I don't know if I mentioned this before, remember that when, when we have single words, single syllable words in English, we have to extend the sound. Do you remember if I mentioned this before? In another pronunciation class or no? Maybe I no. didn't, maybe I no. didn't. No. Okay, no. if I didn't, it, this is what happens. When you have words like this, for example, the first one. What's the this one? Can you tell me how would you pronounce this one? Dad. Try to extend it. Dad. Mm -hmm. So the vowel extends itself. So it's not dad. It's dad. Mm -hmm. And you have to exaggerate the way you say it with your mouth. So you have to open up. So you don't say dad. You say dad. Yeah. So whenever you have one dad. vowel, so you extend the sound. Let's practice dad. 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 Do. 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 No. Dog. 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 So you see, it's very fresa. It's very sassy. Yeah. So it's not dog. Like in English, in, in English dog, mat, sa. No, it's, that's very Spanish. So in English, you have to be a little bit fresa when, say, oh, when expressing. Okay. So it's not dog, it's Dog. It's more like an ah. Dog. 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 There you go. And you okay. extend the sound. Dog. <laughs> and then you have not mad. You have mad. 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 So what I tell guys, what I tell guys is that usually pretend that you have a banana here stuck from this side of your mouth to this side of your mouth. So you have to open up like. <laughs> dog. so yeah it opens i call it a banana smile a banana face because it's like if you had something that stretches your cheeks right so it's mad then you have sad sad, sad. sad. and then bad bad, bad. Done. done done and you don't say done you say i'm done no i'm done so if you see, it's more like an ah, um, more than an oh. Um, it's done. 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 I'm done. done. I'm done. Loud. 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 And the last Loud. one. Loud. And. 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 This has to be very good pronounced. The first one and the last one. And. 
because then it, it can sound N. And, and sometimes it happens that we drop in Spanish and Salvadorans, we have that, that pe peculiar and particular mistake. We tend to drop final sounds. For example, we tend to say uh, Facebook, for example, just to give an example. So you don't say Facebook, you say Facebook, or you say some people, or you drop sounds like five. You say, instead of saying five, you say five. I have five dollars. Five. So it's very important to pronounce the last letter of every word too. Okay. 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 Let's try this one. Now we have some that are very exaggerated, but some that are not that exaggerated. Two. Two. Extend this out. Top. Two. Top. So if you say I'm going, yeah. I'm going to work. Now, when it comes in a phrase, when you just say the word, it's going to sound two. Okay, this is to exercise. For example, to exercise. But if you say things like a phrase like um, I'm going to work, you don't have to say I am going to work individually. You start creating sounds and you start mixing your words, running your words through for them to blend. So you would say, I will go to, go to, go to. So the T becomes in a way like an R, go to. Let me write it on the chat. Go to. Let me look for the chat. Go to the movies. So it would be go to. Go to. Like this, go to. Instead of saying go to, go to, go to. I will go to the park, I will go to my bedroom, I will go to my living room, I will go to, so it's a go to, so it's not go to, okay? Mm -hmm. Then we have the other one, it's not top, okay, the top, top, no, it's top, you see it's more like an ah, uh, top. 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 top, top 10 places, the top 10 top. worst top jobs 10. in the world, okay. the top 10 best Top. Jobs in the world, okay. Top, 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 huh? top. top. What about the next top. one? How do you, how would you say this one? It, it, it. forget it. it. If you talk, it. it, it is not okay. So you're extending. You don't say it, right? Like the it. movie, the scary movie. No, it's not it, it. right? It's it, it, it. 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 It's more it. like an it, it. 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 Very good. It. Yeah. And then this one? Get. Get. Very good. Get. Now, if I was to put get and two together, how would it sound? Um, get. Like the same one as the first one. Go to get work. work. Get to work. Excellent. Get to work. Very good. Get to Get to work. 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 Uh huh. And the other one's go to. So get whenever you have like two T's or an O O there, usually it's an it becomes an R. Get to go to. Okay. Go to. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. And then we have this one. It's not hot. 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 Banana hot. face. Banana face. Hot. 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 So it's not pizza hot. It's hot. pizza hot. <laughs> Even though you're not going to say pizza hot, right? So it's pizza hot. But it's hot. Or it's hot. Hot. Mm -hmm. hot. Mm -hmm. hot. Hot. What about this one? Next one. Hot. 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 Like the witch, hot. or whenever you make soup, you make soup in a pot. Pot. Mm -hmm. Very good. A pot. Uh huh. Just remember moviendo la torre lote for some reason. Sorry. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I'm craving same. now yeah. lotus too. Mm -hmm. Then next one. Two. 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 And it's Two. repeated if you see here. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Mistake. Then this one, the T becomes an R. So what, how would you say? Butter. 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 Very good. Butter. 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 Do you like butter, guys? Do you like peanut yeah. butter, for example? Do you like uh, peanut, butter? Uh, peanut butter? No. Oh, come on. I really like it. Are you allergic to butter? Like I peanut? don't like it. You don't like it? Sorry no. to hear that. Use the okay. butter. <laughs> if 
you like peanut butter, I totally recommend peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Or the mix. <gasps> oh, delicious. 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 Yeah. delicious. <laughs> it's too American. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. This one, the later. 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 Okay, this is a difficult word. See you later. It's like this. Later. 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 There you go. Later. Mm -hmm. See you later. And see you later. See you later. 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 Alligator. Mm -hmm. See you later, alligator. It's very good. Mm -hmm. And this one, W sound, not what? Chehang, can you say what? 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 No. what? Super what? Chehang. What? So it's what? <laughs> what the W becomes an O, so it's what? 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 So what? All the W's in English are O. What? 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 When? Where? What? what? So you don't say Wilbert, for example. Wilbert is a W. You don't say Wilbert. No, that's super chain. Never. <laughs> so you say Wilbert. Okay. Wilbert. <laughs> Because I'm looking at his name and it's with W. I have it on my screen. I'm sorry. But you don't say, um, we, Wisconsin. I have heard people saying Wisconsin. For example, it's Wisconsin for the you know, Wisconsin. state. Wisconsin. Wizard. The Wizard of Oz. Or which, not which. So remember, it's not K. It's not the G in Spanish that we have. It's a U. Which, which, mm -hmm. which, 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 yeah, which. very good. Okay, let's try this one today with an R. Today, oh. today, 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 today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, right? I'm lost in time. Today, today is Wednesday. We have to use today. our sound sound more American. Yes, what happens, what happens is that sometimes, especially if you work with clients that are not from here, for some reason, don't ask me why, it's very difficult for them to understand when we speak, if we were to speak with, they call it that we have an accent. We don't have an accent. People from India or people from China or people from yeah. other countries, they do have an accent. We don't have an accent. But sometimes when we speak like that, when we like that all the time, imagine, we, mm -hmm. like that, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. an accent. Okay. Uh -huh. But they want us, or because we have that influence from the US, we need to work around with the sounds to sound more like them, for them to understand us easier in an easier way but it's okay because we're going to watch a video right now with with this I teacher saw that you use a uh, r when is in the middle so body mm -hmm. body gotta get in uh, for but example gotta is not a it's not correct to use because gotta is like slang it's it's um got too and God is but not a too, very good yeah. by the way God is not a very good verb to use because people use God for everything like um right here in the chat it's a oh it's a do we that. call it it's a weak verb but so God it's not a good word to use guys and, and thank you for bringing that up God so gotta it's 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 slang so it's not formal English. Now, you say, I have money. But instead of saying, I got money, God is very weak. You can say, I have money. Um, I have money. I earned money. For example, I, I took money. But you have to use a specific word because God, it's very general. So it's, and it's not very good to use because it's more like slang, per se. It's not that it's a bad verb to use, but a lot of people show it to students, and I tell them, try to stay away from them because it's more like informal. I'm, and I'm not trying to use a formal formal, but I'm trying for you to be, to be understood in an easier way when speaking to people from other countries. Okay. So God is not a good one. And gotta or wanna, wanna, gotta, no. I call that the vanilla ice accent. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a very 90s. I always relate that to. Yeah. <laughs> or to like you or I don't know, Dr. Dre or something. Yeah, Tupac. But it's not very good to use because that's slang. That is slang. Okay, that's okay. like street language. Mm -hmm. yes. So in this case, <laughs> you can say today, you could say today, it sounds British. Or you could say today, it sounds American. We're gonna we're gonna watch this video later on, <clears throat> the one that I'm focusing here on on YouTube, which is a oh, 20, 100 hardest English words, and I'm gonna share it with you. And I, I want you to see the pronunciation <clears throat> of the teacher, how the teacher would say it, or how they would pronounce certain words in the UK or in Europe, and how we would pronounce them if we were living in the US. So you're gonna see the difference in the context of some words. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So going on Tuesday. 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 I wrote it in the chat. What's the difference dot. between dot and point? Huh. Dot, uh, uh, dot. Dot. That is, dot is like a spot. Dot is like, like a spot. Give me an example. A uh, spot when you have a chair with many circles. Spot, dot. You say... Uh, for example, in a in a fabric, uh, I need a fabric with dots or to have a spot. Ah, okay, very good. It's a synonym for fabrics or clothing. Very good. Okay, fabric or clothing <coughs> or uh, a dog. When you say this dog have many dots, spots. Mm -hmm. Very good. Or spots. Dots or spots, very good. Dots or spots. That's a very good definition for this particular, oh, I'm writing sports, spots. Dots or spots, very good, like animals, like, um, what are they called? Dalmatas, right? Dalmatians, yeah. Dalmatians have, Dalmatians have spots, very good, or dots. Uh -huh. Or even when it's dotted, you could also say it's dotted. When it's black and white, have you seen, like, uh, yes. Clothing that are black and white with little dots on it. They're called dotted. Very good. <clears throat> but in, in the language, dot is used for internet. In this particular context, it's used for internet. So you say dot com. Um, oh, okay. You say dot, dot com, yeah. dot org, dot edu, dot uh, ong, mm -hmm. dot sv. Okay. So it's used with domains, which are edu.com, education, organization, mm -hmm. El Salvador, government, etc. right? So oh, that's yeah. how you use dot. Now, when do you use period? In a paragraph, when you need to uh, have the, the, the pause of uh, this next paragraph. Excellent. You use it with English grammar. Punto y seguido, punto final, like when you were yeah. in school, right? So in English, you use period to say whenever you're talking about English grammar. Anything that has to do with grammar in English or in that context, you use period. What about point? Because they're both puntos. All three of them are puntos. When do you use point? Point. Ah, with amounts. Mounts. Of money, for example. Excellent. Very good. Yes, we actually use it with money. One point five million dollars. Okay, so one point. You don't say one dot five million dollars or one period mm -hmm. the five million dollars. You use it with with money. Yes, with cash. Mm -hmm. Very good. Nice. And you came up with another definition. Not everybody yes. tells me about the clothes and the patterns and and the like spots. That that's a good one. Next one. So we have tried. 
Tried. Tried. Tried. Tried. Tried. Tried. Diet. No, diet. 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 Date. 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 Remember, it's very important to pronounce the last word, the last letter. Date. Diet. Date. 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 Diet. Diet. Mm -hmm. Diet. One. Want. Excellent. Want it. Not wanted. Want British. Want it. Want it. Want it. Want it. Yesterday want it. I wanted a choco banano and I didn't get one. <laughs> and today too. <laughs> and today too and I didn't get a choco banana. And today I want torrejas. And that, I'm not yeah. under a diet. Sorry for that. Yeah. <laughs> <Just> yeah. <laughs> and my cravings every day. Next yeah. one. Now let's try to do phrases. How would you say the number one phrase? Get it down. Get it down. Try to sing with it. Get it down. Get it. Get it down. Get it. Get it down. 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 What happens when we exaggerate sounds in English, guys, is that we put emotions to them. Okay, that's something that happens in English. You put emotions to your words. So if you say, get it down, it doesn't like, so you have to make the get it down or even make the move your hands to actually create down. the rhythm. Get it down, get it down, mm. like lower your voice. It means, hey, keep it down, get it down. Like if you, your kids or people are too loud with music, like, hey, the volume, get it down. Or with the TV, get it down like lower the voice or lower the volume on the TV or etc. Mm -hmm. Number two. It's good. It was hot, hot day. day. Hot it was day. hot today. It was hot today. It was hot. It was hot today. It was hot today. Was it hot today? Yes. Very yes. Hot. Was it hot? Yes. Yes. Because you work all day with AC. That's why you feel so hot. No. You're not used to it. <laughs> <laughs> so it was hot today and I hear right now I listen like a couple of thunders and you know I don't know if it's raining somewhere is it raining yeah. in your neighborhoods no. uh, yeah a few minutes there was raining okay where Santa Tecla San Santa Tecla Lourdes. Santa Tecla Lourdes. wow Santa Tecla lucky Ooh. lucky I want it to rain here for an hour yeah I could I could listen it was raining really it was raining cats and dogs, right? No, or it was raining not that a little much. bit, but it was uh, no much. It was fast. It was a fast rain. Yeah, fast. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay, very good. Number three. Well, what did she do at at the top? What did she do? 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 What when you're asking, you, you have to sound like you're asking because if not, it sounds like you're saying something. So it has to sound like you're actually asking something. What did she do at the top? Yeah, what did she do at the top? What did she do at the top? What did she do at the top? Very good. Mm -hmm. Top at the bottom? Did it stop at the bottom? Did it stop at the bottom? Did it stop at the bottom? At the bottom. bottom? Did it stop at the bottom? <laughs> bottom, very good. Stop at the bottom. Okay, very good. Yeah. I'm going to stop there and I want, because yeah, this was it. I want to stop there and I want to stop sharing here because I want to show you something else. That's the activity that I want to share right now. I'm going to do a little tongue twister with the TH now that we're, we're practicing. This is one of the most difficult tongue twisters. I'm going to share it here on the chat. Her mom is here. The throng of thermometers. In English, we have D sounds for T's and we have a Z sounds. We have the for TH and we have D's, right? In English, for TH. So we have voice and unvoiced. Where are you guys? Chat. Did you receive it on your chats right now? I send it to you. Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes. Very good. Okay, so 
I want you to listen to first to the American accent trainer teacher, then we're gonna do it together. This is just a practice for you to work with your TH and your Ds, okay? okay. But let's listen at first from a teacher, from a video, from a, an audio on YouTube. I'll share the link later on. Okay. okay. Tell me if you listen to it from the thuringian thermometer folks arrived on thursday there were 1033 thick thermometers though instead of 1036 thin thermometers which was three thermometers fewer than the 1036 we were expecting not to mention that they were thick ones rather than thin ones we thoroughly thought that we had ordered 1036 not 1033 thermometers and asked the thuringian thermometer folks to reship the thermometers thin not thick they apologized for sending only 1033 thermometers rather than 1036 and promised to replace the thick thermometers with thin thermometers Thermometers. The throng of thermometers from the Thuringian thermometer folks arrived on Thursday. There were 1,033 thick thermometers, though, instead of 1,036 thin thermometers, which was three thermometers fewer than the 1,036 we were expecting, not to mention that they were thick ones rather than thin ones. We thoroughly thought that we had ordered 1,036, not 1,033 thermometers, and asked the Thuringian thermometer folks to reship the thermometers thin, not thick. They apologized for sending only 1,033 thermometers rather than 1,036, and promised to replace the thick thermometers with thin thermometers. It's very fast, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what I wanted to I wanted to show you this audio for you to remember. This is how you will sound after practicing. Don't think that she got it the first time she's you know she just oh okay the thermo thermometers from the third it's it's just a matter of practice. Now we are going to do the practice. This is what I wanted to show you that this is the way it's expected to sound, but this is just with practice. Now, remember that um, tongue twisters don't necessarily make sense, okay? So sometimes they are not going to make sense. So let's do it together. I will read it, and I want you just to repeat the TH sound on them, okay? For example, the first one. The throng of thermometers. The throng of thermometers. Okay, the throng of thermometers. The throng of thermometers. Remember that the TH tiene que sacar la lengua. And I'm going to say in Spanish because that's the way it is. Usted tiene que sacar la lengua de afuera hacia el throng. Throng. Thermometer. Si no saca la lengua, va a sonar throng. It's not the same to say tree, como árbol. Tree, that's it. Three. 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 So if you don't three. stick three, if you don't stick your tongue out, three. it's not gonna come out, guys. Okay? So you have to stick your tongue out for the pronunciation to come out as well. Okay? <coughs> Let's do it again. The throng of thermometers. The throng of thermometers. From the thuringian thermometer folks. From the thuringian thermometer folks. Arrived on Thursday. Arrived, Arrived on, on Thursday. Thursday. Now here, there were there were, there were, were 1,033 1,033 thick thermometers. Thick thermometers. So, so instead of instead of 1,036. A thousand thermometers. Which was three thermometers fewer. Which was three thermometers fewer than the thousand thirty six. And the thousand thirty six we were expecting. We were expecting. Not to mention. Not to mention. That they were thick ones rather than thin ones. <laughs> that they, they were, were, thick were thick ones rather than thin than ones. Than thin ones. Than thin ones. Wow. We thoroughly thought, we thoroughly thought, thought that, we that we had ordered that we had ordered, we had ordered a thousand thirty six. A thousand thirty six. Not a thousand thirty three thermometers. Not a thousand thirty-three thermometers, and asked 
And as, as, as the syringe and thermometer folks, the syringe and thermometer, 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 thermometer folks, to reship the thermometers. To reship the thermometers. Thin, not thick. Thick. They apologize for sending. They apologize, they apologize for, sending. for sending. Only a thousand thirty-three. <coughs> Only a thousand thirty-three. Thermometers rather than. Thermometers rather than. A thousand thirty-six. A thousand thirty-six. And promise to replace. And promise to replace the six thermometers with ten thermometers. The six thermometers, thermometers with thermometers. Difficult, right? It's Now, this exercise it's used for pronunciation. It's if you do it every day as a warm up and you have water next to you and doing it. It's going eventually you're exercising your muscles for the TH sounds with word like okay. three, thirty, thirty-six, thousand, the. Okay, so if you notice, we had a couple of words, and I want to highlight them here and show you. <clears throat> if you notice here, the ones that are highlighted like in negrito or bold in my screen, those are just D sounds. The rest are <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you notice, the, there, then, they, rather. that, rather. Mm -hmm. Okay, those are D sounds. Yeah. So they're fewer, the D sounds are fewer than the yeah. sounds, right? You notice that, right? Yeah. Okay, so I know it's difficult. Uh, can you tell me a WH word that you can, I'm sorry, a WH, a TH mm -hmm. word that you can think of that for you is difficult to say? Think of a TH word that for you is difficult to say. Sorry, a question. Uh, huh? Thermometers. Thermometer. Is, but the the beginning sound, the Thermometers. TH is like a, thing, like a hmm. It's a TH. Thermometer. Third. 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 Like saying third. Mm -hmm. Like that. Third. Mm -hmm. Thermometer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Third. That's a difficult word, thermometer. Yeah. Thermometer. Thousand is another difficult word. Uh, uh, throng, uh, uh, words like throng, through, thought. Okay, thought. Thoroughly, thoroughly, how do you, thoroughly. Thoroughly, thoroughly. Thoroughly. Thoroughly, we thoroughly, thoroughly thought, what do you think it's thoroughly? We thoroughly thought, what is thoroughly? Oh, uh, we thoroughly thought. Where is the word? What word? Which word? Thoroughly. What is thoroughly? Thoroughly. We thoroughly thought. De manera exhaustiva. Somehow like saying exhaustively. <clears throat> or precisely. It's another way of saying thoroughly. Mm -hmm. Thoroughly. 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 Can you listen to that? Yes. Yeah. Thoroughly. Yes. Thoroughly. 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 Mm -hmm. okay. Exhaustively, de manera exhaustiva. That's a, okay. another way of saying that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ready for another one? This was the first one. This is a difficult mm -hmm. one. Let's go to an easy one. Thoroughly. Can you see my screen? The thing? Oh, yeah. yeah. The okay, thing. so let me read it first and then you, you would say it with me okay try to read it on your mind right now okay i'll say it first this is the thing this is the thing that they told them about this thursday this thing or that thing this thing actually there are two of them two of them both both of these things were with the three other things there in the theater they're worth three thousand dollars ruth and her mother think that they are worth more than that though, unless they break. And they are worthless altogether, worthless to them. That would bother Ruth's brother, mother, and father on their birthday, the 30th of this month. Ruth, Ethel, and Beth have a rule of thumb about birthdays, which is to stay together through thick and thin, 
whether it's worth it or not. And that's the thing. <clears throat> is it a little bit easier than the other one or do you think this one's a little bit more difficult? Yes. It'd be easier. Okay, let me share it with you. There you go. Now I want you to try to do it individually, okay? With okay. me. Let me project it. Hold on, just give me a minute. There it is. <clears throat> Ready? This is the thing. This is this the, is the thing. thing that they told them about. That they, they told, told them, them about. about. This Thursday. This, this Thursday. Thursday. This thing or that thing? This thing this or, thing that, or thing. that thing? This thing. This thing. Actually, there are two of them. Actually, actually, actually there are two, two of them. them. Of them. Of them. Like saying all of them. Of them. Of them. Of them. Of them. Both, both of these things were with the three other things there in the theater. Both of these things were with the three other things there in the theater. Very good. There were three thousand dollars. There were three thousand dollars. Dollars. Very good. Dollars? No. Dollars. Dollars. No dollars. Dollars. Very good. Dollars. Ruth and her mother. Ruth and her mother. Her mother. Okay, remember, it's no longer mother, it's mother. 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 Think that they are worth more than that. Think that they, they are, they are, are more, than more than that. No, unless they break. No, no, they, break. No, they break. They break. No. 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 Unless they break. They break. Unless, unless, unless they, break. they break. And then they're worthless. And then, and then they are worthless altogether. Altogether, worthless to them. Worthless, worthless to them. That would bother. That would bother. Brother. Ruth's brother. Ruth's brother. brother. Mother and father. Mother and father. On their birthday. On their birthday. Day. Not beer birthday. 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 Like beer. Birthday. Birthday. The 30th of this month. The 30th of this month. 30th. 30th. 30th of this month. 30th. 30th. Ruth, Ethel, and Beth. Ruth, Ruth Ethel, and Beth. Beth. Have a rule of thumb. Have a rule, have of, a have a rule of, of thumb about birthdays. About, about birthdays. birthdays, which is to stay together, which, which is, is to stay together. together through thick and thin, through thick and thin, whether it's worth it or not, whether it's worth it or not, and that's the thing. And that's the thing. That's the thing. <sighs> How do you feel? Yeah. <laughs> How did that feel? Tell me. Thirsty. Interesting. And, and you feel thirsty, right? You need water. I told you. I, that's why I texted you. Guys, you need to have water with you because it's kind of exhausting to do pronunciation exercises. So yeah. feel free to drink water right now. <laughs> yeah, the tongue is dry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and also, your tongue has to be clear for certain, certain sounds. For example, question, pregunta. In English, it's very difficult to say. So you need to have a, no question. saliva in your, you don't say question. You say question. 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 So it's like question, but with an E. Eh, so it's question. question. But it has, your throat has question. to be clear for the sound to actually come out. I have heard that it sounds like question. Ah, there's no sh. There's no sh sound on it. So it's like, mm -hmm. remember always, it's question, question but with mm -hmm. an E, eh, like in Spanish, question. So mm -hmm. with an E, eh, question. 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 Oh. Question. Mm -hmm. question. 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 Like this, question. 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 
-hmm. Okay. Now, before I let you go, wow, it's almost time. Before I let you go, I want to do the last one. It's a very long video, but I want to do at least 10 words from this video. Just give me a minute. Where are you? Where are you here? Uh, this is a video, which is the 10 hardest words to pronounce in English. Now, this, if you're going to notice, you're going to listen to her. Her accent is British, so you're going to notice a difference on how she would say it. And I'm going to try to do it on how Americans or people in the U.S. would say it on this side of the world, okay? Let's try to go one by one. We're just going to do a couple of them, and then I'm going to share the link to you so you can finish watching it on your own. Let's get started with the video. Can you listen to it? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Fantastic. One. Albeit. 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 Meaning, although. It's albeit. So they albeit. say albeit. albeit. You see, albeit. And Americans will say albeit. 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 Like stressing in the A. They'll say albeit. Like a cup of tea, and you know that the pronunciation is different. Yes. All bit and all bit. Americans would say all bit, all bit, all bit. All bit. It's another way of saying although. It's a it's a synonym for although. Two. Almond. 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 So if you see, they do the all. All. But this is British. This is British. Americans would say almond. 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 And here, Almond. British would say almond because they use the Almond. 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 And Americans would say whichever is easier for you, almond or almond. 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 Mm -hmm. almond. 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 A flat, pale, sweet nut of the almond tree used in cooking and almond to make tree. almond oil. It's up to you whether you want to. Three. Anemone. 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 Do you know what an anemone, anemone. is? Anemone. Do you know what that is? It's anemone. a plant. Let me show you. No. I don't know the name. Anemona, but anemone plant. It's this flower, but I don't know what is anemone. what is it called. But it's this type of flower. Okay, that's an anemone. 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 A small plant with red, white, blue, or purple flowers that are shaped like cups and have dark centers. Four, Antarctic. Antarctic, British, Antarctic, American. Antarctic. 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 Or Antarctic. 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 Or Antarctic. It's up to you. Antarctic, connected with the regions of the world surrounding the South Antarctic. Pole. Mm -hmm. Five, archipelago. 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 Okay, in English is archipelago. 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 The islands and the sea surrounding them. Six. Arctic. 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 They pronounce Arctic. the T a lot. They tend to pronounce Arctic. the T a lot. So in, in English, American English, they only say Arctic. 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 The Arctic. 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 Mm -hmm. Arctic. Antarctic. Arctic. Mm -hmm. Arctic. Related to or Arctic. in the regions Arctic. around the North Pole. Seven, asterisk. 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 Which is asterisk. the star check. Star. You have the asterisk. pound and you have asterisk. the star, right? On your phones, you have asterisco, or you call it star also. Some people call it star, like star or asterisk. Mm -hmm. asterisk. Asterisk. To mark something with the little star symbol. Eight. Athlete. 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 Athlete.
A person who competes in sports. Nine. Bouquet. 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 But it's more like a French word. I don't even think bouquet. this is American. For me, this is more like French. That more than yes. uh, an English for word. For me like, too. Or like saying bon appetit, for example. Bouquet. It's more like French. Bouquet. I don't even think it's okay. American. Or okay. A bunch of flowers arranged in an attractive way. Number 10. Brewery. 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 This is an interesting Brewery. word. Those of you who like beer, if you drink Brewery. beer, you call beer, beer, cerveza, beer. Mm -hmm. But where they actually, the factory, I was, I was telling my it's son, and like, okay, so if, yeah, it's a brewery. So brewery. you say, oh, beer brewery. factory or beer store. <laughs> but no, it's actually a brewery. brewery. That's how it's called, brewery. 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 Factory, brewery. 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 or a company. So, like Constancia, that makes beer. it's a brewery. Number 11. Brewery. Boy. This is the same boy. pronunciation of a boy. boy. But look at how you write it. There's a boy. U before the O. Do you know what that is? No. My son told me in Spanish it's called boya. I don't know what a boya is. I, I just related to this. This. Uh, on the ocean. Is it called a boya? My son said, boy. it's not boya, mommy. Boya, boy. How do you call this in Spanish? I don't know. I, he said a boya, but I don't know if it's that's true. Yeah, or it's boya. Yeah, boya, yeah, okay. Uh -huh. Wow, he's very smart. He's very small. He told me, mommy, that's a boya. I'm like, oh, okay. I don't know the word in Spanish, sorry. It's in Pau really Patrol. Ah. <laughs> yeah. so you have seen that's, Pau Patrol. Maybe, huh? That was, that was interesting. Okay, <clears throat> next one. It's almost time so. Boy, an object which floats on water to mark where is safe for boats to go. 12, berry. berry. See, berry. 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 In English, berry. in American, you would say berry. So not berry, berry. 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 Hide something berry. in berry. Well. Yeah, so you bury. When, when you're at, at a funeral, you're burying the body, for example. Mm -hmm. I'll be sending this video. We can do more exercises later on. I hope you enjoyed today's class, guys. It was it was a lot of exercise with your muscles. You deserve pulsas, really, for dinner. Yeah. Hopefully you have pulsas for dinner, <laughs> just to relax. Um, I'll be seeing you tomorrow, same place, same yeah. time, OK? Yeah. Okay. OK. 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 okay. okay. Good, Good night, night cocktailers. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, bye. bye. Bless you. Bye, tomorrow. Bye, teacher. Good night. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 bye.